Okay, here we go with the uh, passing portion of our install for phase three. And um, I'm going to specifically uh, focus on the flood gain. Uh, because remember I said that when we're in 12 personnel, we want to invite the defense into the box and uh, play against our run strength. And then we're going to use that to get out and work in the flood game. So here we are in ace, and I'll go to the first play there. And it is crib, okay? So remember, as I told you guys, we run in crib, we're hitting an A-gap. Quarterback is um, bootleg motion, okay? And that's, that's going to set up what we're doing in the pass game, okay? All right, so here we go. Uh, this is Ace Lobo, okay, because the way we build our play action is opposite of the way we call pass protection. Because when we call pass protection, the back goes opposite the uh, line slide. Okay, here, because the back is going to the right and play action, the offensive line will go opposite. So, anyway, that's just something to keep it uh, keep in mind but you know when you call first uh, word is the formation second word is pass uh, protection that way you know it's a pass and then also run okay and let me talk about pass protection in um, play action we want everybody to be aggressive at the line notice nobody's backing up please do not back up when we're pass protecting in um, play action. Um, it's, a, it's more of an aggressive lobo. We want you to step to the defender as if you're going to run block him and lock him up and keep him at the line. Okay. Some of you guys that on the edge would give you help here. But let's, let, so here again, there's the protection lobo. Um, center works to the nose guard. Uh, I'm, I meant to draw that a little shorter because what I don't want you to do is to step away from your center into an empty gap and then leave this gap open, okay? Uh, as always, if you're uncovered, a hand to help and your eyes to the threat, okay? So what's your threat? Let's talk about that, okay? Your threat is this guy goes this way and either the mic, let's go mic, Blast. Okay, that's the mic to B gap. Okay, and so what they're trying to do is draw your eyes down and then loop that mic linebacker over. So this is where we'll we'll work through this uh, in practice this week. We want you to step with a hand to the nose, but your eyes to your gap, and you scan just like uh, you scan inside to out. You scan for that first, that second. And potentially, you could get this first. All right. So, um, hand to the gap. I mean, hand to help. Eyes to the threat. And you, you're you keeping your eyes focused in this area. And remember, here again, don't run out of here and then leave your buddy hanging. Okay. I saw too much of that when I went back and looked at the film. We got to learn to work together. Right side, you're stuck. Be aggressive, jam them up, keep them on the line, okay? All right, notice uh, this flood is 91. There's your 9, and here's your 1, okay? Now, I'm going to talk about this because this is interchangeable, okay, between 91 and 93. But this is, because it's 91 flood, uh, we term this as a weak flood. That's where you basically have uh, 91 here, and then the third receiver comes from this sail route that the Y is running, and I'll talk about that here in a second. So tight end, I need you like it was a run, jam that in, help you tackle, okay, and then head to the flat, okay. If for some reason this guy walk down, which is what Butler do, and bring him hot off the edge. 
you would jam him first. All right, good solid block and then release to the flat. Okay, because if he's blitzing and you jam him and his job, he's told by his call to get to the quarterback, that delays him just enough. And then when you release, it's a two-man game between you and the quarterback. Because quarterback, on your bootleg, the first thing you need to get an eye on is that alley defender. Okay? Um, yes, this may be a cover two corner. He may sit and squat. Okay? Um, and in that case, you would play between him and him. Okay? If he squats on that, he opens that. All right? If he leaves and he carries that, then zone turn, you got room to work here. All right? So that would be the weak flood. Uh, let me talk about this sail route from the backside. Okay, linebacker in your face, go under him and over the second linebacker. So that's an under over or sail route. And I guess if you wonder where that comes from, if you ever had a sailboat, that's what it would look like. I don't know, I made that up. But anyway, it works for me. All right, backside receiver. All right, I want that a little bit skinnier than that. I drew that up a little bit more. I want these backside posts uh, to be a lot skinnier. Because here again, I'm going to read this while we're running that play. And if this guy is undisciplined and runs to that or does anything and opens that up, I'll make the call, but leave that to me, okay? All right, so there you have it. Ace Lobo, Crib, 91, Flood West. Sounds like a mouthful, but everybody on offense, listen to exactly what you need to listen to. Ace is the formation for everybody. Lobo is the protection for the offensive line. Crib is for the running backs, uh, play action. Okay, it also tells the line to be Lobo aggressive. And then 91 is to the front side receivers because it's flood west. And on a flood, we need a third route. And in this scenario, you guys are going to alternate. All right, let me see if I do that on the next one. Okay, so here we go. Here is clip is the run action. All right. Now, let's move that into play action. All right. I'm getting there. Here we go. Nope. All right, here we go. This is where I want to go. All right, so see we're running clip play action. So ace, Rambo, clip. O-line to the right, running back to the left. Now we go... 93 flood east okay so 93 remember on the weak flood it's 91 so here is 93 there's your nine there's your three okay and we've talked about how we want that run okay review uh the uh, previous installs okay all right so the quarterback fakes to the running back the line is uh, Rambo aggressive. Okay. Now, in this scenario, I want to make sure that we protect our backside for the quarterback's bootleg. Okay. So, here again, make sure, right tackle, that we get a wild call. Okay. All right. That means wide threat. That's talking about that guy right there. All right, so you're going to work through the end or the anchor to this guy because we're going to assume against Butler he's coming. Okay, so you would have him. Guard, you would have the, the end. And that means center, you got to let your buddy know I'm gone. Okay, and you got to, this is a little bit more aggressive than when I was talking about hand to help. Yeah, you can stick a hand over there, 
but you got to get your eyes and your body moving towards that tackle. And that means guard, you have to step down almost like a run. Okay. And knock that down. All right. So now we, we have gotten, uh, control of these four. All right. If he were to come, that's the running backs, man. All right. It, tackle is, uh, stuck here. Backside tight end. Work through his. I mean, you can put a hand on him, but don't delay because we need you underneath this flood on the shallow. Okay, remember the plays to the east. So that means backside, our progression is shallow, splitter. All right. Front side receiver. Uh, I don't know how much I've emphasized this, but on flood, okay, you have to make sure that you use a forced outside release. That does two things. If that corner's going to carry you and he's he's got uh, inside leverage, okay, he has to turn his back to run with you. All right? If he's outside, you're going to push him into the sideline. Okay, so you have to use a forced outside release. The other thing that does is that forces this guy to have to come over and have further to go to cover the whole shot. Yes, quarterbacks, don't forget about the whole shot. If we come up and this guy's pressed up in our nose and we make that outside release, throw that whole shot. Okay? If he's cover two sitting outside and he releases that guy, throw the whole shot. We're not going to allow teams to come up and press us. That's not going to happen. All right. Why I remember we talked about running this in two parts. You got time because there's play action going on back here. So you push up to that safety almost as if you're going to block him. Turn for a beat and then go to the sideline. I really liked when we worked on that. Um, I guess it's been two weeks now. The way that timed up. Because in the past, I've always disliked when we get to that sideline too fast and there's not enough room to work. So this slows us down, especially when we're talking about a bootleg. All right. So get up. I say 12, I know I'm going to get 10, turn, and then come across, okay? Now when you catch it, you should be here. That gives you plenty of time to get your head around for anybody that could be back here. That strong safety could be back here. That corner could be running with that. You catch that ball and, uh, and have time to uh, win on the play, okay? All right, so here again, in this read with that corner, yeah, let's give him credit. Let's say he's down. Okay, that's a, we're talking about 91. That's a basic read. It's called a basic, all right? Corner drops. Okay, you throw underneath. That's why we need that H to get there. All right, by the time we do all this and boot, you should be there. You should be right here, all right? If that corner fails, our read comes into this guy or he's off. And then we read between those two routes. If that Sam linebacker jumps to the out, which he shouldn't because that's gone inside of him and he's released it to the safety. But if he does, we throw underneath. If he comes down to code of flat, we throw behind him. Okay. Remember on this play, first down. Throw, do whatever you can because if we hit this guy and he has room to run, that should be a first down. Get up field, get your nose on that flag, and get us a first down and move on. All right. So I think that's that's all I wanted to go. Oh, I may have one more flood. Yeah. Okay, here here is the crop. I'll get through this real quick. I won't belabor it. Okay, Ace Lee. Crop. Okay, remember, anytime we're running, we're faking that outside run. We're going to use that running back not only as a fake, but we're going to use him as a lead blocker. So that's why we go Lee and send the whole offensive line against the flow. Okay? And that means that you guys right here are responsible for those guys. 
one, two, three, four, five, responsible for any combination of five. All right. So here we go. Play action is crop, running back, open, 180. Get your shoulders downhill as quickly as possible. You're going to get a little help from the tight end, but get in here and secure that edge. Quarterback, as I told you, on crop, your fake is wack or you get outside. All right, so it's in for the tight end, block one beat, and then go out. All right, let's say a beat and a half. How about two beats and I get a beat and a half? I'm good with that. Because remember, there's a run fake here. So by rule, if this is the force player, when you go down the block, what's this guy going to do? He's going to step to that, to force. Okay, wherever that running back is, he's coming down to make, force it inside. All right? And your block sells that. So don't be in too big of a hurry. Okay, block and then go. And then quarterback waggles and the time, it times up after your two beats, you come out into the flat. All right? Uh, in this scenario, we know one high. That corner's going to play his deep third. We come in. We read this guy. He goes there. We throw underneath. He goes here. We throw behind. As simple as you can get. Here again, under one line, under the first linebacker, over the second linebacker, and then flatten out and get across the field. We got to have you. Okay? There's really no delay back here. We need to get you into the mix as quickly as possible on the other sideline. All right, here again, backside post. I drew it up probably a little too much in the middle. Let's err on the side of staying shallow on that. Okay, get inside that corner and get upfield. I'm reading that. Discipline. All right, so that's two, two ways to run flood. Okay, there's more. But let's become good at this. I don't want to put too much on your table. So coming up this week, we'll be running and we'll be flooding. Running and flooding. Okay, just like you do during a hurricane. A hurricane. All right. Guys, please, if you don't uh, go back on VidSwap, watch this again. Make sure you study. Um, I went to uh, Northwest last night, played in the championship game. They played down in uh, Rock Hill. Uh, one of my good buddy friends is assistant head coach down there. Um, they played in the championship game. They won every playoff game to get to the championship. They had the game at home, a state championship game at home. I don't, I've never heard of that, but I guess that reduces travel on both teams. So they had a home game. Uh, it was most of the game. It was back and forth. It was 21-21 at half. Uh, they took the lead 24-21. The other team got the ball, drove down the field, scored with about three and a half minutes left. They got the ball back. It came down to fourth and two. And on fourth and two, uh, the running back took the handoff. To me, they ran power to the right. He cut back on power, which I never, ever tolerate. The defensive guy just Clipped his knee, he fell two yards short. Game over. The other team took over on downs and ran the clock out. Okay. Uh, I tried to have some words of support for my friend, Coach Starks. But I know it hurts. It hurts to come up short. I can tell you, I know the pain of coming up short. I've come up short my whole career. I don't want to come up short now. That's why I'm going to continue to work and I'm going to continue to send out all this information. I know some will take it in. Some won't. Some of you think you know it all. Okay? But if you think you know it all, I'm here to tell you, you're going to crop up. You're going to make a mistake and it's going to crop up at the worst possible time. Let's not have it happen in the championship game. And one blown assignment or one mistake cost us a state championship. Don't be that guy. 
take care of business, take care of classwork, take care of this book work for the team that we're here doing here now for football. It's all connected. Okay? It's all connected. If you are the kind of guy that's reliable in the classroom, 90% of the time, you're reliable on the football field. You may not be the biggest, the strongest, the fastest, but we know we can put you in position and you'll do what we ask you to do and good things will happen. So anyway, enjoy the rest of your weekend. You guys take care.